would request uh, Mr. Uh, Stephen Weiss, the Public Affairs of the U.S. Embassy, to take his seat next to me, please. If you do not mind, I will first make my speech in Azerbaijani, then I will translate it into English myself. I will try to be as brief as possible, uh, so that I don't take much of your time with this opening. Her vaktimiz kayın olsun değerli hemkarlar, hem bizi bu güzel mekanda Azerbaycan İngiliz Sizin Merdivleri Birliği adına salamlamaktan çok büyük memnunluk duyuruz. Çok büyük şeref verirsiniz. Uzun yollar gelerek, aynı zamanda öz tersinize investitse koyarak bugünkü bizim konferansımızda hem renkli gösterdiniz bizim de birlikte olmuşsunuz. Eminlikle bildiririz ki sizler bu konferanstan yine de el boş gitmeyeceksiniz. En az sonuç çıkmayacaksınız. <gülüyor> yani bu konferans bizim sadece programda da gördüğünüz gibi 11. konferansımızdır. Beynaha konferansımız daha doğrusu. Biz 21 konferans geçirmişiz. 10 regional 11 11. Beynaha konferansımızdır. Ve konferansın içerisinde siz özünüz tanış olursunuz bir bir. Yani ben istemeyen detallara gelen mesela burada teşekkür bölmesi var. Teşekkür bölmesinde bizim bu konferansa destek etmiş e, taraflarımızda biz sizlerin adından, adı tarafından teşekkür etmiş. Sesini yapabilir miyiz? Yani bu ben niye göre Azerbaycan dilinde danışıyorum? Ona göre ki Azerbaycan İngiliz dili müellimleri birliği adına göre bir İngiliz dili müellimleri birliğidir. Ama biz 2012 yılından itibaren yani doktor Erdem söylemezler sözü teşkil teklif edene ihtiyaç yok daha mı sonra Azerbaycan'da farklı bir yaşlandırma onun teşebbüsü yani Azerbaycan'da sözü marak bir grup yarattı ve hemen marak bir grup çalışmasında bir İngiliz biz kaplarımızı açtık ve bugün bizim sıralarımızda gayri İngiliz dil müellimleri de var ve bugünkü konferansta da onlar iştirak edilir ve biz bundan çok memnunluk duyuruz, çok şadır ki onlar bizimledir ve artık 2012 yılında neyse görürler ki bizimle bugün iştirak edilirler. Ve konferansın programını görürsünüz, konferansa rengarenk programı var, hem bizim beynalxalq təqdimatçıları var, hem yerli təqdimatçılarımız var bizim. Bizim iki derizimiz var, biri daha yaxşı öyrənək ki, daha yaxşı öyrənək, digər isə biz birlikdə güclüyük. Sevinirik ki, biz birlikdə güclüyük derizimizi artıq bütün Azərbaycanda çoxları istifadə edir. Nə gözəl, yəni nə qədər birlikdə olsaq, güclü olsaq, bu bizim üçün çox yaxşı bir şansdır. Yəni, yenə də vaxtınızı almıram, təşəkkürləri burada qeyd eləmişəm və buradakılarla birlikdə bir daha sizin hər birinizə ürəkdən təşəkkür edirəm bura gəldiyiniz üçün və sizin hər birinizə gözəl konferans mənalı istirahət arzulayıram və təbii ki, bu material İngilisində olduğuna görə burada olmuş xüsusi Palma Life mehmanxanasına təşəkkürümüzü yəqin bəlkə də çatdıracaqlar İngilisində olsa da. Amma biz bir daha həmin mehmanxananın kollektivinə dərin təşəkkürümüzü bildirdik. Çox səmimi kollektivi ilk başdan biz gördük və ümid edirik ki, bu bizim birinci konferansımız olsa da bu mehmanxanada sonuncu olmayacaq və davamlı olacaq. Bir daha hər birinizə uğurlu gün arzulayıram. Dear colleagues, we welcome all of you to this 11th International Conference of Azeta. Azeta has held so far since 1998 21 conferences. 10 conferences were regional conferences in different regions of Azerbaijan and 11, confer 11 conferences we have hosted as international conferences where we have um, international colleagues from different parts of the world as you, you, you, you can see from the program that we have uh, both uh, local and international presenters among the presenters, which also strengthens us because uh, strengthens us because we uh, have two um, mottos. You know, one is uh, learn better, teach better, and the other one is we are strong together. So really, we are strong together. One hand cannot make a sound, but two hands we can clap together. 
Uh, and why did I make my speech in Azerbaijani? The reason is that, thanks to Dr. Adam Sodermas, who is pretty well known throughout Azerbaijan, we have established uh, a special interest group. We have several interest groups, special interest groups. One of them we established in October 12, uh, 2012, which is called Non-English Teachers. Today, we have non-English teachers among us as well. We are very grateful to them. We welcome them. And from the program, you can see that there are slots for them as well, so that they can also take as much as possible from this conference. So in, in regard with the acknowledgments, we, uh, acknowledgments, we sincerely acknowledge all these uh, partners because of their uh, partnership. We have, we have been empowering year by year and we can be one of the, uh, we, we are the only professional organization in Azerbaijan of English teachers and so thanks to this partnership we uh, get empowered. So I don't want to mention them by, one by one, not to take your time, but uh, because the staff of Pablo Life Hotel does not speak English, so I want to thank them uh, uh, on, on your behalf, on behalf of Azerbaijan English Teachers uh, Association for hosting this conference in their premises and for their friendly staff here. And uh, uh, we do believe that we all will uh, enjoy it as a conference, as a, a weekend, and also towards the end of the school year, we will be uh, able to uh, relax a bit, okay, before before the examination period starts. Uh, so you, I do believe that uh, you will not leave this conference uh, with uh, bare handed. At least you will have your certificates. So you will have more, I do believe. Uh, uh, so uh, this is why. Uh, so I wish best of luck to you. Before I want, I, I, I uh, uh, finalize my speech. I want, of course, uh, one of the uh, longest uh, supporters of the Soviet English Teachers uh, Association, the U.S. Uh, MS, uh, uh, the uh, representative, public affairs officer of the uh, of the U.S. Embassy, Stephen Guys, to say a few words on behalf of. Uh, I mean, uh, welcoming you. Thank you. Uh, it is a great pleasure to be here in your midst today. Uh, I'm here as the public affairs officer of the embassy, but I'm also here as uh, someone who taught English as a second language, someone who taught methodology of teaching English as a second language. I always like to tell people in Russian that uh, it always works in this class. But it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, it's a wonderful program. I think uh, we really have to applaud the leadership of Azeta for pulling together a very good program, this year as every year. Um, speakers and topics, and I think it will be very useful for all of us to be able to learn the latest things. And also, in addition to learning, I think a real benefit of conferences is to be able to just mingle, to talk to each other. Because uh, many times in our profession, especially in the classroom, you can feel alone against the enemy. And the enemy may be the students, but the enemy sometimes also is the administration and other teachers who don't understand what you're doing or why you're doing it. You know why you're doing it, and it's good to come to an event like this where you can talk to other teachers and you can remember, you know, yes, I'm doing something important, I'm doing something difficult, but, uh, English language, maybe by accident, maybe for many different reasons, is the number one tool that people around the world need. And how your students, what you do, the, the time and the effort that you spend imparting to your students, you are making a difference in people's lives in a very real way. You need to remember that. You need to remember it every day, but especially at a time like this, it's good to remember. You're giving people tools, 
which allow them to get a better job, a better job, not sometime in the distant future, but when you go out in your city, you can see people who you helped, and you can see them in a good job, and you can say to yourself, they worked hard, they did a good job, but I'm a little part of that. I help them. So take pride in that. That's a good time. It's a good time to remember that and take pride in that. And for all of you, uh, I always tell teachers everywhere around the world, but especially in Azerbaijan, you're not teachers because you wanted to be wealthy. If you wanted to be wealthy, you've chosen the wrong profession. You're teachers because you care, because you want to make a difference in children's and students' lives. And so thank you for caring. Thank you for working hard. Thank you for coming to a conference like this. And any way that we can help you as the U.S. Embassy, we're very happy to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Guys. It's very kind of you. Um, very useful words, of course, for us as teachers. Are we wealthy? Of course we are. We are the wealthiest uh, professionals in the world. So wealth is not only materially. So we are more than wealthy. We have students all over the world. Even presidents are our students. So this is why we are the wealthiest people in the world. So uh, wealthiest people, people and professionals in the world. Of course, on behalf of Azeta, we always acknowledge our members for their great uh, jobs. Otherwise, um, it would not be. Uh, good not to motivate, good organizations always motivate their members. Uh, so we are not for profit organization, we are non government organization. Our work is done on volunteer basis mainly. So, uh, so for, for, for, for, for their uh, uh, volunteer work, for their commitment to this organization, we should, it is our responsibility as the executive board of Azeta to acknowledge our very dear members, uh, uh, also the people, the professionals who are in, in, in sort of leadership of, of this association, uh, thanks to whom Azeta is uh, empowered day by day, strengthened day by day, and also is uh, spread throughout Azerbaijan. Who are these people? These people are some of our, all of our branch managers are very dear for us, but this year some of them have uh, spe specifically uh, differed with all their contribution commitment to Azeta. These are um, Tofiga Mamedova, our wow. Berde branch manager. Wow. We are very Thank you so much, Tofiga Mamedova. We are proud of you. I want to say some words. Just now I am very excited because it is not my first certificate from Azeta. Just I have a lot of certificates. Just we are here not for certificates. We are here for our for for the help and for the development of our republic. And teachers are the engineers and teachers are the helpers, and teachers are the organizers, and teachers are the heart, are the heart of our republic. And we are ready to help our republic, to help our government, to help our people, to be the best in the world. Thank you for being teachers. Thank you so much. The next the next branch manager, who is unfortunately not taking part because of the family mourning, we just learned this morning that her father passed away yesterday. This is Saadet Hasanova from our Gergel branch. She is the manager of Gergel branch. She is a very dedicated branch manager. She is also a very active, one of the best English access micro scholarship program teachers. And we are uh, very uh, grateful to her for her great job for Azeta. Um, another 
branch manager is from Shirvan, Saadet Kuliyeva. Shirvan branch is pretty new branch, but within a very short period, it has uh, met the requirements of Azeta and uh, competed with other branches, as a result of which she managed to become one of the best. So she is not here today because of the government uh, responsibilities in the region, she, she, her duties she had to follow. So please, uh, Shinran Branch, could you kindly listen to Sarah Kalamia? Okay, thank you so much, thank you. Um, you today we are hosting this conference in Lenkaran. We don't have a well, Lenkaran is, a, I mean, we have a branch in Lenkaran, but which is a bit different. In all regions, we have the branches with the names of the regions, but Lenkaran is the only place where we have the name South Branch instead of Lenkaran Branch. <laughs> so these people are from South who are very warm. So this is why they have opened their uh, embraces to other regions. So, uh, welcoming them. So, this is South Branch, and the branch manager is Kamala Nesuma, who is a very young branch manager, and who is the organizer of this conference. She is, she did all this, and I'm very grateful to her. Thank you, Rexana Hanum, and thank you, all of you. I'm very glad that having you here. And I want to just, I want to say this one that I improved in Azeta. So th uh, thanks, all thanks are for Azeta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, now we want to acknowledge uh, some of our uh, English Access Microscholarship Program teachers. We have been uh, implementing this project since 2006. We have made lots of achievements this pro uh, project and we do hope that and currently it is not uh, functioning, but we, will, uh, we are sure that we will restore it so that we can spread uh, more, uh, we can outreach more students who need this project really. So far we have, uh, be, uh, I mean, uh, so far more than 1,000 students and more than 25 regions of Azerbaijan have benefited from this uh, project. But in the last year of the project, these teachers of the English Access Microscopia program have specially differed from others with their commitment, with their very interesting projects that uh, they have done with their own students in their own regions who have promoted this project in their respective regions. This is Prama Safarova who implemented wow. uh, the project in the district of Baku. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Rahman! Oh, Rahman! Aferin! Thank you so much, Grandma. Well done. And the, other, and the other one, I don't know, well, maybe it is by chance that we are in this region. Two of them are from this region. One yeah. is Yusuf Melim Aliyev, who is very dear to us. He is our Afshaktar. Yeah. And he teaches uh, students from Jalalabad. He is one of really very dedicated, very committed and organized teachers, responsible teachers of the project. And the other one is Gulnar from Masallu. You deserve it, yeah. Sincerely congratulations. Thank you so much for your hard work. Thank you. And thank you for being and at the end, we will acknowledge two more members for their dedication to Azeta. One is uh, Zulfia Zeynalova from Gögel branch, who is not attending uh, the conference. Uh, I believe that due to Saadet, uh, so uh, morning she had to uh, support Saadet to be with her. So this is why Zulfia Zeynalova is not with her. The other one is, I don't know why the certificate is not here, but Irada Hanan from uh, uh, South Branch. So, Irada Hanım, your uh, certificate unfortunately is not here, but uh, we, will, we, will, uh, we will arrange it for you. Where is Irada Hanım? Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Irada Hanım. Unfortunately, your certificate is not here, but we are very grateful to you for your great job. We will arrange it for you. Another thing is that Azeta Executive Board held its, in its last meeting, decided that uh, Irada Hanım will join this conference complimentarily. All of you have paid for this conference, but for her great support to the branch activities, so we will uh, reimburse her money back, okay? So, thank you so much. And I want to finalize the uh, opening session with one uh, very uh, touchy story that why we are all proud to be
okay, teacher. Baby, you remember? Yes. Ahlu Mamel. Ahlu Mamel Hussein. He is from he was from Sadirabad, and it was a very cold winter day, 5th of December 2014, and every day he would drive from the village to the town center together with his neighbors and neighbors' children. He was a very committed teacher. And it was on the 5th of December when the weather was very frosty and the road was very slippery and he's, uh, he, control, he lost the control of driving and he fell together in the car together with one of the students into the Ku River. And what did Ahmad Mamin do in the, in the river? Instead of saving himself, he saved eight year old girl, eight year old girl. So the girl is alive now, but Ahmed at the expense of his life, he saves this girl. So this is really a great pride, a great honor for Azerbaijan, for our profession. So this means a teacher, okay? So the teacher is not the one who expects a lot of money. The teacher is one who is ready to sacrifice himself, herself, for his students, for the future of the nation. So this is why Ahma Melin is our hero. He is our legendary hero. He is not just an ordinary hero. He is a legendary hero. So this is why, uh, let me say it in Azerbaijani and then I will request something else. Ehliman Mellim var ve gazeteler yazdı. Ehliman Mellim var ve sosyal şebekeler yazdı. 5 dekabr 2014. yılında Ehliman Mellim fedakarca öz şagirdinin hayatını hılas ediyerek Mellimlik budur Mellimdir. Mellimlik sözün hakiki mənasında budur. Mellimlik yüksek maaş gözlemek değil. Mellimlik budur. Ve hakimlik hayşe edilir. Bir eğitimli sütürler. Ehliman Mellim'in hatırasını yad edelim. Let's remember you with one minute silence. Okay, that is the end of the opening session.